In this video, we're going to embark on combining After Effects, Photoshop and AI to create a stunning visual effects shot based on Mars. In this quick video, we're going to learn loads of techniques to take your footage to the next level. So here it is. This is what we're going to be creating. It's so cool. I can't, I honestly just can't wrap my head around this anymore. It is amazing. Um, so yeah, let's jump on in and create this with After Effects, Photoshop and some AI. So what we're going to want to do first of all is head over to this website, Pexels Videos. I'm going to give a link to this piece of footage, but honestly, check these guys out. They've got so many other usable pieces of footage which you could use for this exact same thing. There's tons of it on here, so kudos to these guys, credit to them. So once you've downloaded that piece of footage, what you're going to want to do is pop into After Effects and I'm just going to drag it and I'm just going to import it in here. So where is it? There we go. Click Import. Perfect. So let's drag this down to the new composition window. We can see that this is 1080 by 1920. So it's full HD, but it's vertical. As we drag through, you can see there's some movement in the footage. I want to get rid of that. So come over to tracking window and click warp stabilizer. And that's going to start analyzing in the background. What you want to do is change the result to no motion, and that'll get rid of all the motion from the clip. Excellent. So if we scan through now, um, just do that in the composition window. If we scan through now, you'll see that it goes blurry, but there's, there's no motion in the footage anymore. The camera's static. So we're going to want to jump into um, Photoshop. But before we do, remember this composition is 1080 by 1920, and we want to extend the sides. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to go into the realms of 4K. We could scale this down and kind of do some other stuff, but we're not going to do that. So first of all, let's go to composition and save frame as, and I'm just going to go um, file and save as a Photoshop file, that's fine. I'm going to save it to my desktop and I'm going to call it frame for Mars environment. There we go. And yeah, click save and render. Now jump into Photoshop Beta or Photoshop 2023. Depending on when you're watching this, it's that you want the one with generative fill. So I'm going to go and click open and find where is it? Mars frame for Photoshop, Mars frame for Mars environment. There we go. That's the one I just did. Click to open. Perfect. Right. So like I said earlier, this is actually 1920 by 1080 and we want to go to 4K. So first of all, I'm going to go to image and canvas size and I'm going to change this around. So I'm going to go 3840 and make sure this is in pixels, uh, 3840 by 2160. And that's just going to give us a 4K resolution. So click OK. Perfect. Right. So we've got this. Now, what I'm going to want to do now is I'm just going to get my, I'm going to duplicate this because I like having just a background copy. Get my magic wand, click the white. Uh, so it selects all of that. And I'm going to go to select and modify expand and 25 pixels is is fine just so we get a little bit of this border in so it's got some more context and it blends better and stops like seams so down here we've got generative fill i'm going to click generative fill and i'm just going to click generate okay so we've got some pretty cool stuff here let's just click through and see which one we want i think i'm going to go for oh i don't know i think i'm going to go for this one Okay, so I'm just going to live with that. Perfect. I say live with it. It's great. So what we want to do is we want to start um, chucking some stuff in here. So I'm happy with this. I'm going to go ahead and this is the big time saving point, which is um, why I actually like to spend more time on this. And you'll understand what I mean in a minute. So I'm going to just um, kind of select round here. And I'm going to go to generative fill and say Martian city skyline and i'm going to click generate now what i mentioned earlier is putting something in in, in there like this would take and, and that's not the perfect one i'm going to regenerate it would take a while to put stuff in here this is this speeds up our process but it's why i like to take time on it as well because if we just just live with the first one it's not great so we can afford to generate multiple times till you find the perfect one so i'm going to keep generating it does three at a time and i'll pause the video and i'll see you once i found what i want okay so i think i've found what i want i only generated three times i'm really happy with this one because like i said it would take so long to actually put that in there you may as well use that time that you're saving to really kind of keep generating and get stuff that you like 
like. Cool, so I'm happy with that. What I want to do now is get some sort of, um, like I did in the other one, some sort of rover, Mars, Mars rover by here. So I'll just select that area, go to generate and Mars rover, and I'm going to put vehicle in there as well just to, just to see what it gives us okay i could probably play around all day here um and there's some things i'd fix possibly the wheels on this but the, the, you could kind of like play around and just get whatever you want you can see how many versions i've done I, I could honestly play with this stuff all day um but i think yeah i'm gonna stick with this one down here which i've definitely lost now there we go so i'm gonna stick with that now it's time to start putting more stuff so what i'm gonna do is just select little bits around here um I'm holding shift just to add kind of bits. I'm going to pretend that this has kind of been a bit of a wreck. I'm just put some basically some wreckage around here. So if I type in and go wreckage and generate. Cool. So we've got some very usable stuff here. I think this, there we go. That just really adds to it. I do like the idea of having like an archway here. It's like, like a bit of a sci-fi thing and there's the possibility to then see through it. So it's almost like not just a, a physical object. So you'll see what I mean now. Um, so I'm just going to go like this and maybe just bring it across this way a little bit more. Um, and I'm going to go sci-fi archway. Okay, and then just click generate. Okay, so I found this one. I really like it. Um, so what I'm going to show you now is if I turn everything off, you can actually see that this has its own sort of sky in the middle of it. And what I like the idea of is kind of just erasing that. So have a quick um, watch what I do now. I'm going to come to this image. I'm going to use my magic wand tool and I'm going to select the bits that I want to keep which is all this basically. And I'm gonna hit Control, Shift and I to invert the selection. I'm gonna come to the layer mask. I'm gonna get a black brush and I'm just gonna paint out this middle bit just like that and maybe the edges by here because once I turn this back on, you'll see that those are then the actual uh, mountains in the background. So I like the idea of being able to see through something because it just adds that depth to it. And now I can turn everything else back on. I think now all we wanna do is just add a little bit of futuristic tech by here. I think that's what I'll use is generative fill futuristic Martian tech and I'm, I'll just put sci-fi in there and I'm going to generate now until I get something that works and then we'll move on to the next step. Okay, I'll be honest, I really like that as well. So I, just to speed this tutorial up, I'm going to stick with that. So what we've got is we started with this and we've ended up with this. Now that's really cool. So what we're going to want to do now is basically turn these two off. You're going to want to go to file, save as, and we're going to save as a Photoshop file Mars AI environment and Photoshop files fine click save and click OK perfect right time to go back to After Effects so open up After Effects just click to double import double click to import um, and what do we call it Mars AI environment import and yeah just click OK so before we drag it on what we want to do is go to composition settings and we want to actually make this a full 4k composition so if i just type in like we did before 3840 and make sure this is unticked by 2160 and let's just call this mars environment okay and click okay so what we can do now is get this mars environment photoshop file put it on top and now we've got this with our moving um, astronaut, which is so cool, but we're not done. One more thing, select them both, Control or Command, Shift and C, just call it Mars, move all attributes into new composition. So we'll get this, it's now pre-composed, hit P, Option or Alt click the position, and I'm gonna type wiggle, open brackets, one comma 10, close brackets. And what that's gonna do is it's just gonna add a slight, if you have a look, just gonna add a slight bit of a wiggle on there. So we play this bit back, it's a little bit of a camera movement on there. I'm gonna do the same for rotation. Um, I always add a really subtle one on the rotation. So wiggle, open brackets, 0 0.5, comma, 0 0.5, close brackets. And you'll notice that actually some, some of the edges, if you, if you look down here, some of the edges start to come in a little bit because, because we're adding that movement. So what we'll wanna do is just go to the scale and go to one, zero, four, I think should be more than enough. 
Um, so let's preview this back and watch it. Okay, folks, this is our final shot. It's really cool now because we've got that really subtle camera motion in there, which just, just gives it that extra bit of realism. So that's how you use Photoshop, After Effects, and the Generative Fill AI to create a really cool sort of set extension. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Please leave a comment of um, your thoughts or if you want to see something else in the future. And I look forward to seeing you in a future video tutorial. Cheers. Thank you.